welcome. It is Bernadette here. You're very welcome to this episode of Bernadette TV. We're doing something slightly different because over the next three episodes, I'm going to be talking to you about the top three mistakes that I see people making up with their online business and most importantly, how you can avoid them. So we're going to start with part one today and make sure that you tune in for parts two and three. So what is the first mistake that people make? It is trying to create demand. So here's how most people approach their marketing. So first of all, they go and create a product or a service. And then the second thing they do is they pray that they can find someone to sell it to. And this is a huge mistake. And the reason it's a mistake is because you're coming up with the supply before you've really established whether there's truly a demand. So I prefer a different formula, uh, which is to find a hot target market, find out exactly what they want and then give them or sell to them what they've told you they want. want. And this is the key to success in any business, online or offline. So the majority of people do this is, you know, they, they, they come up with their product and service, then they expect to find people that they can shoehorn into that product or service. And this is really the expensive and hard work way of doing marketing, because essentially you're coming up with a supply uh, before you've established the demand. And um, if you've tried marketing this way, you know how frustrating and time consuming it will be. And, you know, it can elicit a lot of fear because if you're marketing this way, it's like you need to find the customers. You're desperate to find the customers. And that's really the hard way to go about it. So the reverse way to do this is to find the market first, find out what they want and then let them buy you what they've told you that they want. OK, so the moral of this story or the lesson from today's episode is to really focus on finding a market. Don't spend any time thinking about the product or service you want to create until you've established that there is a market. And when you find markets that want things really, really badly, you massively tip the laws of supply and demand in your favor because suddenly um, you are now servicing a demand. You're not trying to create demand. So make sure that you find out what people want uh, before you even think about the product or service will be. And I recommend that you pick a crowd that you have a lot of empathy with. So it could be that you pick an audience that, you know, was you a few years ago. When I first started uh, my client magnets business, a lot of the people I was helping were people who were selling their services and they were trying to find clients and, you know, they didn't necessarily have a lot of marketing know-how. And I wanted to share with them the things that I put in place that had helped me to become a corporate client magnet. So make sure that you pick a crowd that you um, have empathy with, that resonates with, that has similar passions and interests to you, because it's going to be much easier to sell to that market too. So that's it from our first episode of this three-part series, where we've been talking about the mistake of trying to um, create demand. And make sure to tune in for the next episode, where I'll be showing you what the second mistake is. Hello. You, yes you, yes you. If you like my mummy's videos, my mummy is Bernadette Doyle by the way, you need to hit the subscribe button or the like button. It would be very appreciated. Bye!